This is breaking news. This case, 7th Prison Detective Squad, Mahan South Homicide, Financial Crimes Task Force, our Crime Scene Unit, our Computer Crimes, and our New York, New Jersey Regional Fugitive Task Force. At approximately 8.45 this morning, 21-year-old Tyrese Haspel, H-A-S-P-I-L, was taken into custody in the lobby of 172 Crosby Street by members of the New York, New Jersey Regional Fugitive Task Force and transported to the 7th Precinct for arrest processing. On Tuesday, July 14th, Mr. Fahim Salih's cousin discovered his dismembered body in the living room of his apartment with his head, arms, and legs amputated. Upon further investigation, it was revealed that on Monday, July 13th, at approximately 1.45 p.m., Mr. Salih was assaulted by Mr. Haskell with what appears to be a conductive energy weapon, better known as a taser, while exiting an elevator into his apartment. If I could just explain that real quickly, the way this building is set up, when you go up in the elevator, it takes you right to your, right to your apartment and not into a hallway. Due to the active and ongoing investigation, I will not get into the actual cause of death. The extensive investigation led by the 7th of Homicide identified the perpetrator in less than three days and revealed that Mr. Haspel was Mr. Salee's executive assistant and handled his finances and personal matters. It is also believed that he owed the victim a significant amount of money. That is all I can say at this time due to the fact that the case is still ongoing. Mr. Haspel has been charged with murder too and we are working closely with our partners in the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. A lot of great work has been done. I want to thank Cy Vance and his team for the cooperation. I will not be taking questions at this time. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody. Um, we appreciate your time. And, um, so maybe more.